Hey guys, this is Brock Glidewell with Pearson Kelly sitting here with Lee and Jason. Um, today we're going to be talking about the top three things that IT teams need to be successful. Uh, so we're just going to kind of jump in and talk about those things right now. Uh, Jason, you want to kick us off? Yeah, so the on, on the top of my list, what I think we need pretty early to be successful is tools and partners. Um, our world is proactive as much as we can make it. So tools help us do that with a RMM tool or remote management tools. And uh, along with that are our partners that we um, that we bring on to you know help us resell our product and and who we buy from and stuff like that. So that's a that's one that's one thing that I think is really, really important is is getting that getting that stuff right early on. So you uh, so you can be proactive for your for your potential clients. Awesome, yeah, um, I completely agree. Uh, you can have a lot of good things in place, but if, if your guys don't have uh, your folks don't have the resources they need to complete the tasks, then you know you're going to be spinning your wheels for sure. Uh, awesome, great job. Uh, I think on this that's really important. We kind of talked about this beforehand, but it's like there was a time whenever you had your tool bag and you like walked in, you had like, hey, here's the things that I can do to fix this. And like in today's world, that's really not the case, not only for IT, but for, for you know, pretty much any industry, anything that you do, it's like you have to have the right people to be able to dial to say, hey, I need access to this. Hey, I need help understanding why. Like it, it's it's become where everything's kind of interconnected. And so it's so important that you have the right, whenever you say partners, like I think of, you know, our vendors and and anyone else that I just deal with from a from a standpoint as a as a VP. Um, I was literally walking through our our vendors list this week and I'm kind of looking at I'm going, okay, which ones can I actually touch base with and get the answers I need in a timely manner? Like, and if I can't, like, are those people that I should partner with or should I be looking for people that can help me? Because that's so important when you need that. Exactly. And along with that is having the tools to be able to do your job remotely, uh, especially with the world we live in right now. We, we try to be remote as much as possible uh, for our safety and for our client safety. Um, so, you know, we, we need the tools that allow us to reach into our clients networks and and fix stuff that's broken. Um, and that's, you know, that's that's the way of the world right now. And that, that's important to have the tools that are that are good at doing that and efficient at doing that. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, Lee, you kind of talked about the tool bag. So really just to kind of summarize the tool bag of the old might have been physical tools, cable connectors, cable testers, a lot of that stuff. And now it's strategic contacts. You know, I think about as an IT director, you know, I, I had people that I called I knew they would come through for me every time that saved me that my users never even knew I was calling them they made me look like the the champ right so maybe now your tool bag is a, is a list of contacts strategic contacts that are your partners and you know all the technology tools you you need to do your job I think that's a good way to summarize those resources yeah I think that's awesome uh, Lee, you were going to talk about, uh, we kind of started touching on it, uh, maybe the people aspect uh, for the number two uh, item here. Yeah, again, this is kind of general. I'm, I was never an IT person, but the reality is I don't think there's there can be a good team that will ever be successful if they don't have good people. Um, and you can say like just the people on that team, but like, you know, any good sports team or that it takes coaches and and supporting characters off of that thing and and admin i mean it just takes all those different pieces to kind of make everything work together um so and it takes a variety right like it takes a village you can't just have everyone have the same personality the same types of things and i think i don't remember if it was you brock or jason who was kind of talking about that before um but it does it it, it takes a variety of different people to be successful as a team yeah it does it, when you're talking about teammates, you know, in the in the IT world or in the business world in general, you need to fill those different personality seats. So you kind of, you know, have that, uh, you know, circular pattern, I guess that that's an awkward way to say it. But, you, you know, you need a you need the, the visionary piece, uh, you know, and, the, and that sells mind to go get business and you need somebody structured to keep everything, you know, together and honed in and and somebody's going to really focus and then you kind of need the workers you know they're going to do the work for you you need all those bits and pieces in your people so that's a that's a huge part of it 
Yeah, and not only just the roles. I mean, Jason, you're talking about the roles there, which is really important of, of having it organized, but having the right person for those roles. Uh, mm -hmm. If you put a point guard down at the five spot um, and tell them to post up, you know, not going to be very successful. Gonna get worse, <laughs> right? Uh, for the sports analogy. So it's making sure that your people are where their strengths are. Um, if you have a, a person that needs to communicate a lot, then you need to put them in a role where they're going to be working with a lot of the your end users, whether you're an MSP or an IT director. Um, you know, and if you have people that are are better suited to be working in the background, put them in a position to be successful. Utilize, you know, get your good people in there, get your roles in there, and then put them in a place to be to, to be successful. Yeah. I think the last thing I want to say, and then I'll kind of turn it to you, Brock, is like we could spend a lot of time talking about just like what makes you a good teammate, right? But yeah. like one of the, the things that's like kind of a non-negotiable for any good team is communication. Like they can all speak to each other. They all have a voice and they know that because um, each person brings that different perspective. And so like if anyone's quiet, like you're probably in trouble because they probably have some good ideas or some things that they're noticing. And unfortunately, you're going to learn probably the hard way that they knew this was happening ahead of time. So, you know, making yep. it feel comfortable. I mean, a good team, you know, is people who feel comfortable to be able to speak up and speak out. Um, and that kind of flows into kind of what you want to talk about, Brock. Yeah, kind of the last thing that we're, we're you know, when we kind of pick three things here to talk about what makes an IT team successful you know the first thing we talked about was resources um, and now we're talking about uh, people um, the thing i want, really want to talk about is standards mm. because all those things are great and you could have good people that have all kinds of different strengths but if you don't have a standard way of operating um, a standard way of supporting things a standard way of fixing things you're going to get the best and worst of all your folks you're going to get all their strengths and weaknesses all in one um, and the goal is to maximize our strengths, right? Put people in a position where they're, they're successful. Uh, so when we talk about standards, we're really talking about, you know, making sure that the equipment we put out there is standardized. So your guys aren't guessing every time they pick up the phone, what kind of computer they're looking at or server they're working with. Uh, password, account standards, computer naming standards, and we could go on and on for how to, to talk about this. But one of the things that kills IT teams the most is living in exceptions. And I can tell you this from firsthand experience, when you start, when the exceptions become the rule, that's when you start really splitting your team apart and having people that are getting various degrees of, of support. Yeah, so the only thing I'd say with that is when I think of standards, there's, there's one other thing that is I mean, if it's not, it's like a first cousin of it, right? So, and that's measurables. Like a part of having a standard is like, this is what good looks like. And that can be procedural um, or process driven, but it can also be a metric or a number that you say, hey, this is the time frame we have to close these types of thing out. Or, you know, when we have to respond, we have to respond within this amount of time. Um, you know, and, and obviously we deal with customers, but, you know, I know a lot of the people who listen to this are people who are dealing with, you know, their customers, which in a school system, you know, is your teachers and your superintendents, your principals. Um, for us, you know, even as Pierce and Kelly, we have our internal people that are reaching out to our IT team. So they have to know, like, and we, we literally have to go over this. Hey, what is a good time to respond to an email, a phone call, a text, or whatever, um, to help set that, which, which is a standard, but it's also kind of, you know, we go into the measurable piece of, like, that specific thing, can we track that? And can we prove that you were or were not meeting that standard, you know? And that actually makes it easier to bring new folks into your team as well. So you don't have unicorns everywhere that when they leave, they leave this big gap, you know, it's like, well, that guy was really great at all these just niche things. Um, and you've got now standards, you've got a way to bring in a, a young person and train them that, hey, this is how we do these things. Uh, guys, this is a great conversation. Uh, just to kind of summarize, really wanted to focus in on three things that we felt could make a, an IT team successful. Uh, first thing is resources and tools to get the job done. Resources and tools could be anything from technology tools to strategic partnerships. The second, probably most important thing, is to have good people in the right places. So you hire tough, make sure that they can communicate, put them in a position to be successful. 
Lastly, is a standard way of operating, a standard way of supporting all your users. Uh, guys, appreciate the conversation. It's fun as always, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time.